Well, welcome back to Everyday Iowa. Coming up tomorrow night, the three of us and a few others will be partaking in the first ever road show of the First Alert Extra Credit. <laughs> Going on at uh, Clear Creek, Amanda, and uh, joining us, you know Corey, Man. you know meteorologist Jan Rye heard as well. Make is this appearance number two for you now on it this is, program? It is. It is. I'm working my way up One to my mug. One more, you get a mug. I know. See, that's yeah. it's like a punch <laughs> card. You have to have three. Exactly. Let's talk about the big event tomorrow night, and then let's have a little fun with it here. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Yeah, we've got we've got some fun fun stuff going on here. A um, little bit about the event. So we're calling it Weather Academy Extra Credit. A lot of people are familiar with our Weather Academies, mm -hmm. that, uh, that that Weather Academy mm -hmm. brand that we've mm -hmm. built up. That's typically where we come in, you know, do like some school visits or maybe talk to Girl Scout or Boy Scout troops, things like that. Uh, you know, quick, short little visit to uh, mm -hmm. do a presentation. This extra credit, it's over the top. We've got big experiments, <laughs> we've got uh, other partners coming in, so it kind of takes those Weather Academy visits to the next level. And, a couple of our Could you imagine doing some us? of this with a Rotary Club? Wouldn't that be fun? Oh, that'd be fun. Maybe, maybe we should start doing that. <laughs> sure. For like, yeah. Yeah. Get the big, uh, you know, air cannon with the Red Hat Society. That Ooh, would be a yes. good visit. <laughs> so, <laughs> just goes flying. so now, at some point, we will excuse Corey because he has to go do actual weather. But in the meantime, also ruining the sound here. I'm sorry, right. folks. It's all right. I claim to be a professional. <laughs> that's what you've seen the right. show. It's yeah. fine. Lab, so. lab coats aren't normally part of the yeah. on-air attire. That's true. That's true. <laughs> so what are you going to start out with? Uh, we are going to do tornado tubes as okay. they're called, and we will have a, a version of this, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, we will have these, several mm -hmm. of these that yeah. uh, the kids can come up and actually interact with themselves mm -hmm. ahead of time, and then we've got an even bigger version. As I say, uh, the, a jumbo mm -hmm. version, which is kind of the idea of the extra credit, generally, yeah. I would say, yeah. is just bigger versions mm -hmm. of these neat experiments that are going to be enough to delight and wow, right? So go ahead, Justin, okay. turn yours over. Uh, and now notice how it just kind of should stay pretty steady. And so yeah. what we're demonstrating here is a little bit of air pressure where mm -hmm. air here is pushing upward on water that's pushing downward, but their force together is kind of equal. Mm -hmm. And that's what the atmosphere is really trying to do all the time is get equal. It's trying to equalize things out. And that's why it just wants to be steady. Mm -hmm. So the atmosphere just wants to chill, okay? Just, just like the rest of us. Just yeah. vibe, that's all. Just like the rest of us. So <laughs> if we introduce some uh, volatility here okay. to the system in the form of some just grab it here and you know, you've done this before oh, yeah. Justin come on oh look at it go like sends through an hour no nope, sorry wrong network <laughs> uh, kind of the same but basically we, we introduced some instability there and so we wanted to the, now the uh, atmosphere within our bottles mm -hmm. wants to be getting back to equilibrium again and so some water was coming down here as we disturbed that uh, equalized pressure air is going up you see it okay. in the form of that little tornado yep. that you see there we added that extra spin by giving that rotation mm -hmm. motion to it and it just stayed until all the way drained mm -hmm. and now we're back to equilibrium once again the atmosphere inside our bottles is chilling. Yeah, so that's, like I said, one of the, the things that the kids can mm -hmm. come up and actually do during that uh, fair portion ahead of time. Mm -hmm. um, it's always fun. Exactly, it is. Oh, yeah. yeah. You, I mean, you could do that for, for hours. And we're going to after this. That's true. <laughs> We're going to stick around until 9 tomorrow night just play with the bottles with and everything. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. Um, other portion of the fair as well, uh, just to, to mention, is that we'll have different first responders and um, stuff there. So Tiffin Fire Department, since we're at Clear Creek, Atlanta, yeah. uh, Tiffin Fire Department, um, uh, Johnson County Sheriff is going to be there. We've got EMS, uh, all kinds of different uh, organizations that are partnering with us, uh, help, you know, those different people that you might mm -hmm. see in a emergency situation yeah. right after a tornado, right after a thunderstorm, something like that um, all of those people helping yeah. partner with us and uh, help make this event really big. And you don't have to go to Clear Creek Amanda High Correct. School. This is open to everybody. It's just we're hosting it there this year. Absolutely, yes. So they they have been gracious enough to mm -hmm. uh, allow us to use their space. Um, so we've, we'll be in the auditorium for the big show. That's from 5:30 to 6:30. Uh, but from 4 to 5:30, kind of a come and go. Hopefully, don't go. Hopefully, just yeah, come. Come stick around. Um, you know, you'll be doing some weatherwise trivia. Yeah, it'll be fun uh, to be a part of it. Yeah, so. it should be it should be a good time. Yeah. Um, also during that fair portion, so we've got the tornado mm -hmm. tubes. We've already have already gone over those. We also have another kind of hands-on experiment okay. that the kiddos get to play with. So yes. have you ever heard of a, a Magdeburg sphere? I think I drove one of those when I first moved to Cedar Rapids. <laughs> what is a Magdeburg, so a Magdeburg, Magdeburg sphere, sphere? Basically, it's something that scientists use to study air pressure. Okay. okay, something that we deal with a lot in meteorology. And it's basically these two spheres that you push together, suck out all the air, mm -hmm. make it a vacuum inside, and then you can't pull them apart. Okay. You can buy those for a couple hundred bucks. Yeah. Or, or enter the uh -huh. humble plunger. 
I never thought I would be doing plungers no. on TV, but here we Honestly, are. Honestly, this is the whole reason we're doing the segment, <laughs> exactly. just to have plungers. Exactly. <laughs> so these have now become our Magdeburg spheres, all okay. right? So you just want plain, cheap uh, plungers, pretty, pretty yes. simple. Squish them together. Squish all the air out. Apply that force, right? Mm -hmm. And then try to pull them apart. Oh. You have to, it took you have a lot of, to, yeah, a little you work have, to it. Exactly, like that, you know, you have to really, yeah. really force it a little bit. So obviously these aren't a perfect, perfect seal. Yeah. So, you know, if you've got the fancy Magdeburg spheres, you could do it a little bit better, but this is something. And again, it squeezes all the air out, so it's a vacuum. Exactly, you create that vacuum in mm -hmm. there. Now all the air, basically all the air around us pushing in on these, mm -hmm. try to pull them apart. I just don't want and to fall and hit the... <laughs> It's well, that's, that's where it's fun for the kids, right? The kids get to pull yeah. these apart for Last thing we need is a plunger going through the brand new <laughs> set. It would be terrible. Exactly, so. exactly. So, yeah, another another fun way that kids can kind of experience air pressure. And, again, it is all tomorrow night starting, uh, remind four everyone, 4 o'clock. 4 o'clock tomorrow, okay. Clear Creek Amana. Again, you do not need to be a Clear Creek Amana student or family to come to this event. Open to everybody, oh. and it's free. Justin's making a... Plunger marks on our, on our set now. Uh, so 4 o'clock to 5.30, that is the kind of fair with all the first responders. You can tour a fire truck, tour a snowplow, all that fun stuff. And then from 5.30 to 6.30 is all the experiments from the first Lure Storm team. There you go. And more of this fun stuff uh, on stage tomorrow. Thanks yeah. for coming in. One Absolutely. more way and you get the mug. One more. One more.